Okay, I'm gonna go through and do another update video on Fistful of Frags updates. I haven't done one of these in a long time. This is the last update I covered here. It was in freaking, it's, what is it, a year and a half? I haven't covered anything on this game for a year and a half because there's been nothing to cover. And the dev, by the way, has gone missing in action, conveniently. So the last one was September 1st, 2022. So I'm just gonna quickly go through these. I'm gonna try to do it quick and cover what has been added since then. Of course, this is pretty old, but we don't have much because the dev has disappeared. You know, there's people on the forums. I'm going to browse the forums after this just because it's been such a long time. There's people on the forums. They complain. This is not working. The bow is broken. The Smith carbine is overpowered. Uh, the servers are dead. The game, certain game modes on the servers, nobody plays them. And what the hell is the dev doing? He's adding the ability to ride horses. Who the hell asked for that? Nobody. Nobody. I would have never thought ever that he would add something like this. Riding a horse. That was the least of my concerns. I would rather have any day of the week. I would rather have a new weapon or something. A new map, a new weapon, something. Not riding a horse. And I've watched some gameplay. Of course, I haven't played myself. I haven't played since, uh, was it? Two and a half years now, I haven't played. I've watched some gameplay on Twitch of people streaming, which is rare that anybody does because it's dead. But I've watched them and the horses, they seem really, really unbalanced and kind of, I don't know, I wouldn't say glitchy, but they're just to the point where you can, you can knock people off the horse, I think, and it's really easy to get headshots on people. I don't know, it seems unbalanced and not fun to me, but... He added it for some reason. So. Uh, and he added some custom maps just for the horses. Great. Waste your time on that. Horses. Horse riding, blah, blah, blah. Okay. This is the most important thing right here. Chinese translation. Because there's a lot of Chinese people playing this game. We need to translate it for them. Let's waste our time on that. Horse horse waste of time well it sounds like a pretty game breaking bug players may not heal from certain things such as purchasing a whiskey wow if you can't heal in the game where healing is pretty critical seems pretty game breaking there good thing that was fixed going off limits yeah you can jump and another thing about them is they're really fast you can jump far stuff like that it seems just I don't know it seems unbalanced to me and just kind of too good, too good of a commandic, not commandic, a mechanic to have in this game. It seems like it's being some other game. I don't know. It's not right for this, I don't think. Just like this, going off limits. Well, you could jump far. They could, you know, that's probably why someone jumped. Well, they got out of bounds. So we had to patch that. Horse riding. So on Fistful, on the regular Fistful map, he changed navigation-related things to balance the horse riding. So let's not change the map to make the regular gameplay better. Let's change everything to go around horses. Horses, let's ride a horse. You know, is he trying to revitalize it with horses? Okay, well, obviously it didn't work. Maybe for a short time it did. Obviously it didn't work because now he's abandoned the game. Doorway... Okay, nothing worth talking about there. Up to January. Look at this. Another map for horse riding. Come on. Waste of time. Dust particles. God damn, that's important. Okay, nothing there. Improved glow effects. Damn, that was important too. Okay, they changed a little bit on the bow accuracy. Interesting. And of course, he nerfed chest prices. Increased for the Colt Walker, the Pump Shotgun, and the Peacemaker, and the Schofield. That one gun that I would ask to bring back. He already nerfed it. It used to have, I'm pretty sure it had six rounds. He nerfed it down to five, the Schofield. Because it has a fast rate of fire, and a fast reload, and the damage is pretty good. So he nerfed the damage, and then he took it down from six shots down to five. And now he locks it in the chest. 
after that. So that the one thing that I would see that would bring me back to playing this game is bring the Schofield back to the regular starting loadout. Right now it's locked in the chest and it's been like that for years and years. Bring it back to the starting loadout and get rid of the Remington army or just, just don't even get rid of anything. Just add it. Make it bigger. Load out. More options. Add that to the loadout and I would come back to the game. That's that's a really good gun. It's fun. You know, it, it I would come back if they brought that back. The gun throw is still broken. You know, he improved the animation, but I've talked in my previous videos. When you throw a gun at someone, if you're too close to them, it just faces right through. It don't hit them. So you, you have to be at a certain range for it to register. So that's completely broken already, but he just, at least the animation looks nice. So And then he improved the animation for it. Then he nerfed the notoriety. Well, goddamn, nobody used it already. You know, I, I only used that just because I had one extra star in the loadout. You know, if you have 10 stars, I, I just put it on there just because to fill it out to 11. But all the times I used it, oh, it didn't register. Oh, it phased right through him. Oh, I threw it off the map. Now I lost my gun. And the knife, he buffed the knife, though. There was, I remember sometimes I did have some fun going around uh, Robert Lee, the ship map, with just a knife. And I'm, I'm glad to see that. Throw knife, uh, that's, that's nice. Throw an axe. Mm, that's okay. The axe shouldn't be in the game anyway, really. Wow. If you, if it's long distance, they get a bonus. Well, long distance is nearly impossible. So I could see why. And he buffed the black bow. Okay. Okay, nothing there. Barbed wire props unused at the moment. Damn, that's good you told me that. Okay, nothing. Advanced jump challenge. Man, we really needed that too. Oh my god. A snowy on a map on the, the map. TP snowy. Oh, I remember that map. There was an exploit. Oh god, no. We won on an exploit. People might have fun. He had to fix that. I'm sure that was in the game for probably years and years until someone showed him or he saw it. Then he had to fix it. Whatever it was. He doesn't say what it was. Hmm, he changed Robert Lee. One of my few maps that I thought was good. Minor layout changes and improvements. And I watched some people stream the game. What the hell does he do? Well, he makes it so... If you thought you had a safe spot before, now you don't. He changed the entryways. He blocked off doors. He changed stairway locations. So there's no... There's less... I say maybe not no. There's less safe spots where you can be for a certain amount of time and reload or try and... I wouldn't say camp, but at least try and snipe a few people from distance. Nope. Nope, nope. We wouldn't want to have that now. We wouldn't have too much safe spots. I gotta change the layout for that. Like, screw you, dude. Come on. Nobody was asking for that. Oh yeah, he changed the voice commands too. Another waste of time. I'm not even gonna talk about that. Next, Gatling gun. I'm sure that's that's another thing. Nobody uses that. Cannon operator. Waste of time. Next. Bugs, bugs, nothing. Wait, you can slide. And wall jump kick. Wow, that's something you'd expect in some other game, not in this one. You know, if I came back, I'd probably never use those mechanics because they're just so unrealistic and don't fit the game. But he added those. Wow, so if you're trying to aim or fan, if you have fanning and you're trying to, or you try to have the right-handed aiming perk, it deactivates when you jump. Okay, that got a nerf. Thanks for that. Achievement icons. Oh, great. like some of the last significant updates here I'm getting to the end you're probably thinking wow you're at the end it's only it's a year ago over a year ago well the updates have stopped unfortunately explosive keg push physics okay we wouldn't want to pick up everything we got to have it more realistic wow that ruins the fun 
Oh my god, he nerfed the freaking Volcanic and the Derringer. Two of the weakest guns in the entire game. And he nerfed them. How stupid can you be? Wow, that makes me not want to come back. 12, negative 12% damage on headshots. The Derringer, I think it did 59. So now it's what, maybe 53, 54 or something? And the Volcanic, I believe, was probably a little over 50. That's probably... So now, if you want to kill someone with the Volcanic, and you can't even kill them in two shots anymore. You got to be at least three, four, five shots to kill someone with the Volcanic. Like, wow, just kill the guns some more. Keep killing the guns. Pick the weak ones, too. Pick the ones nobody uses. Horse junk. Elevators may kill players on the free-for-all mode. Does he mean that there's been collision problems since the start? You know, if you get stuck on something, if you get stuck on a corner, if you get stuck on the moving train, you'll die. He doesn't pick the moving the train, though. You'll still get killed on that from nothing. But the elevator, I guess he fixed something there. Barrel. Textures. Many new textures are placing ancient ones. God damn, we were all asking for new textures. I did mention that previously. Well, it's old. The game is dated. It's old. Okay, well, at the same time, when it's old and dated like that, you can run it on a crabby computer. That's the one advantage to having dated graphics like that is an old computer can handle them. But I guess you had to update the textures. More textures. Great. More, more, more. A couple times. More textures. And he changed impact. It changed the crates. Changed the lighting. Okay. Horse riding exploit. God, no, we wouldn't want exploits. They might be too fun. Huh? Oh my god. You see, right here, this is just the stupidity of this guy. He changes all these textures and tries to update things and make them look better, what he thinks looks good. And then it says, reverted to old textures due to popular demand. So everybody complained on the forums that they didn't like his changes. And he had got so many complaints, he actually had to listen. And he changed them back. Wow. Yep, he changed the overtop. Block, block a stairway. Change a stairway. Block a doorway. Remove a door. That's his idea of layout modifications on these. It's not make it easier to get around. It's move everything around and block stuff up. Add fences. Add walls. And then apparently he screwed up over top because he had to change it again. Tortuga, it's a map I never liked from the start. I remember when that got added. And I never liked it because it was too big. There was just too many open spaces. It was way too large for the amount of players allowed in the servers. It was just boring for me. And he's been redesigning it, changing it all this all over the years. Changing it and changing it and I, I still don't like it. Oh my god, he had to redesign the bar, cave, and bridge areas. Well, I'm sure they were junk, so that's why he had to do it. And of course here, it looks strange, but this is almost a year ago. This is 11 months ago. We haven't had a single thing update, no updates for 11 months because the dev has gone missing in action. Wow. Respawn issues. Oh my god, I thought he fixed the respawn issues. Remember, was that 2022? 2021, he went through the whole respawn system. All of a sudden, he made a new system. It was supposed to fix everything. It didn't. He's still having respawn problems. Wow. New system didn't work. But yeah, so we've been 11 months here without an update. So I'm going to browse the forums here and see what's going on. Not much, really, but I'm going to look. The bow is bugged. Wow. Is that something new? Nope. I think this guy was saying bring team play, but the thing is, it never left. It's just dead. The servers are dead. Yeah, he used to be able to walk if you held shift to, for better aiming. He got rid of that. Okay, nothing worth talking about on that page.
Yeah, who attacks a game that has 20 players at a time? Yeah, it's very dead. So I guess this might be why he nerfed. He nerfed the Derringer and the Volcanic because you get a lot of notoriety when you dual wield. Well, the weapons are junk. That's why you get a lot of notoriety. And plus, with the, the Volcanic, the only thing I ever did with that was on a close quarter map like Robert Lee. You'd fan it, choose the fanning perk, and then you could fan it really good at close range. There's a lot of hallways and stuff on that map, and you could get some kills that way. That's the only thing I ever did with that. Only thing that was fun for me, fanning the Volcanic on that map. And I, I never did a dual wheel with the Derringer because the accuracy gets worse. And plus, on the Derringer, you only got two shots. You're constantly reloading that thing. Bullcrap servers. Wow, like I told before, there is no moderation in the servers. You could have one in China that's trying to mine your data, and nobody will take it down. There is no moderation whatsoever. Yeah, he removed crouch jumping, which if that's the case, I remember on FOF Depot on the map, there was a spot that you could only get to by crouch jumping on there, and I'd always sit there. It was like up on a like a second level of a ledge, and you could only get there if you perfectly timed a crouch jump, and I'd always sit there and snipe people, and it was fun until I got killed because there was no whiskey. But apparently he removed the crouch jumping, so if that's the case, I probably won't be able to get up there, but he replaced it with wall jumping. Like, damn, that's realistic. And nobody uses it. This guy says nobody uses it, okay? So we replace something that people use with something people don't want and they don't use, and we leave it that way. Is that how you run a game? No. Yeah, the voice acting, I, I'm not a fan either. They changed it, and I don't think it... I think the old ones were better, to be honest. Bad player base, toxic player base. I talked about that many times. This guy asked, when is the best time to play? And nobody replied to him. Yep, people say they don't like the Smith Carbine. Well, my opinion on that is it's a very powerful weapon. And it's the only rifle you can get in the starting loadout. So I think it should be fair to have at least one long-range weapon in the starting loadout. Everything else is made or short. It's good to have at least one long-range. And I will say it's very powerful and it can be annoying and somewhat OP in a certain area. But I would say not nerf it just because it's, it's limited. You know, if you get someone in a hallway and you have the smith, well, you might be screwed. So... There's limitations to it at the same time. Even though it's good and it's powerful, there's still limitations. So I would say not nerf that. People complain about that a lot. Yeah, the shotgun. Some of them, you hit someone point blank range, you won't do any damage. You won't even kill the guy. Sometimes you can, they're so intermittent, the shotgun bullet spread. You could hit someone point blank, it does 40 damage. And you hit them again point blank, another time, it does 70. Yeah, bad performance. Wow, tell me about that. I remember having bad performance so many times. Yeah, the, the player limit, he that was his another way of his method of fixing the bad spawns. So if I I forced people to have smaller servers with smaller amounts of people in it, I remember we used to have servers that had up to 32 people in it. Then he put it down to 24, and now he put it down to 16. Less people, less people to shoot, less fun. You know, maybe it improves the spawn a little bit, but that's not the solution. The solution is fix the system of spawning, not limit people. The redesign is awful. Hmm. Good luck getting anywhere with that. Yeah, 
Yeah, you brought back the money. You have to have money to buy stuff from a chest. Nothing there. I'm already like mid last year. Huh, this is pretty good. Future of the game, a, a letter to the dev. The sole developer is some kind of iron fist in this castle. That's about right. Do not let this die. I can understand developing a game alone while getting hate from your own players. Well, he gets hate because he doesn't do what people want. You are disrespectful to your own community. That's right. You got a lot of comments on that. Let me see where Judge is on here. Judge? Oh, yep, here he is. Judge Uchika, or whatever that was name was. Best thing to happen in this game was to shut it down. Barely reaches 100 players. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. Judge is on here. And he's saying, uh, oh, false report, blah, blah, blah. He says, yes. Rebel has his issues at the moment, but there ain't no team behind him anymore. Well, the team left because he was a freaking douchebag and he did crap that people didn't want. And they told him, change things back. Do this. This is what we asked for. He don't listen. That's why people left. He has no team because they left. Because he don't listen. The game's freaking dead. That's like the guy said, too. That's another thing. Well, it's dying. Well, I wonder why that could be. Less than 100 players. This is... uh. May of last year, going on a year ago. It's probably at 80 now. Okay, so this guy got banned for something. Oh, I'm kind of bummed. It used to be a lighthearted game. What happened? It all went to hell when the dev decided to ban some people. Three, from what he knows. Two of them are very well known and established. Wow. They had... Wow. Two out of those three, I know they have thousands of hours and they were dedicated. You cannot ban top people without a shred of proof. Doing what he did literally drove a knife through the heart. This is coming from Judge, wow. I still don't know why and it saddens me because he's a friend. Oh my god, so the stupid dev banned some people just because maybe he didn't like them. Huh. It shows you who the dev is. No, no proof was given. He won't accept anything, any argument about the bans. Wow. Just you're screwed either way. So you're screwed. He bans you, you're screwed, and there's no appeal.
The game is still there, but without the creator being here, it's basically sailing on autopilot. We had so many plans to create more, and this is freaking a long time ago. Huh. Wow. Wow. Games die and wonder why. Well, there you go. Another reason. Another nail in the coffin. This guy tried to freaking appeal. Let me see what he says about his appeal. Let's look at, uh, well, oh, Judge didn't reply on that one. Well, he says it's, uh, headshot stuff. I complained previously about the mayor's like being a one-hit KO headshot, but that was, that was never changed. Yeah, this is a problem. I had that before, too, when something would explode near you. It makes, like, a ringing noise. Of course, your ears hurt in the game. And sometimes it just would not fix itself, and the only way to fix it would be to leave the server and join back. That was a bug. Probably still is. I don't think they fixed it. Maybe they did. I don't know. Yeah, you can play online. I mean, offline. I've done that myself. Just on my LAN server, I mean. Huh. People complaining about the textures. Yep, they don't like the textures. Huh. This is going back to when the game was still getting an update. Oh yeah, you can't do that anymore. You used to be able, if you hit, I believe it was the mouse wheel, you, or I think you could fire both barrels at once of the coach gun and get a quick kill instantly. But after a while that was removed. So this guy's wondering if you can do that, and you can't anymore. Oh yeah, it does. The hammerless, it got screwed. Yeah, they're, ex they're just close range, and that's it. Yeah, when they, he first introduced it, it used to be a good gun. It was accurate. It was powerful. Fairly powerful. And then, quickly, he nerfed the hell out of it, and then he nerfed it some more after that, too. And then he put it as a dual wield. You used to be able to get one by itself in the loadout. And I remember, I think I would do Hammerless and Derringer as a dual wield, or just the Hammerless and a bunch of other stuff. And that was fun. But now we put it as a dual wield only, and he nerfed the hell out of it. So there's basically the pea shooters now, and you're constantly reloading, and it's no fun. Yeah. Walking was removed. Accuracy problems. I'll go back to uh, when I last covered it here. 
Almost there. Yeah, October and September. Here I am. Wow, that's pretty sad. The map that had the Robert Lee G-O-T-Y, that was the original Robert Lee map that was, I believe it was the one that was put out when the game was released first on Steam in 2014. Way better in my opinion. It has a side, like a side uh, port where you can get off the ship and there's a, a higher room there. You can get there by doing some parkour and it was a good sniping spot. But I guess the server that had that got shut down. Great. Yeah, shift don't work because he got rid of it. So here I am. So that was all the crap on the forums. I didn't see the exact post here. But I remember looking here one day and then, yeah, Judge, whatever his name, Mr. Sympathizer. I guess he's not a sympathizer anymore after the day I've randomly unjustly banned some people. But I remember him saying in there, someone was asking something, and he said, well, uh, let's hope that happens soon, because the dev is MIA right now, he's missing an action right now, let's hope he comes back soon. So this guy, who apparently, they were friends, and he had real contact with them, he banned the people, didn't like them anymore, and the update stopped, and then no contact. And we're just hoping for the best. So it's looking like, for sure... It's going to be a year here with absolutely nothing and the game just dying and dying and going further down the hole because the dev has disappeared. And like I said before, okay, well, it's different if you have multiple people on the game, but this is just one guy, one guy doing everything, all the developing, everything. And of course, we know who that after this looking at the forums here, we definitely know that kind of person that guy is. And it's a real bad thing when you have one person doing anything. So if that person, something happens to them, they lose interest, whatever it is, whatever the reason the dev is not here. If that happens, you're screwed because nobody else can do anything. And the game dies and there's no updates, there's no changes, there's nothing new, and it just dies. And that's what's happening. So I don't know what the player base is. I never checked. But yeah, maybe 50, 80 people a day, maybe. Not looking good. Here's to uh, the next video. Maybe the next video, the way things are going here, if the dev don't show up, there will be no next video. So we will see.